in Saskatchewan. Have a look. These are my parents and my siblings. My dad is taking us on a trip to Kandahar. So who do we put on as a second driver? Oh, make it necessary. Or should we make do you dad? want to drive or no? No, okay. do not let dad drive. Why not no, dad? that's a terrible idea. Have you ever been in a car with him? <laughs> the film is called A Kandahar Away. It is premiering at Hot Docs tonight. Aisha Jamal is the filmmaker. She is also Abdul's daughter. They're both in studio with us this morning. Good to meet the both of you. Thank you. Nice Thank to be you. here. I think, like most people in Canada, except for maybe the 15 people left in Kandahar, Saskatchewan, I didn't know there was a place called Kandahar in our country. They have their own Wikipedia page. Really? Yeah. Go and look it up after this interview. Uh, Aisha, what was this like for you to document uh, this trip, your family, mm -hmm. your parents' story, and turning the lens a little bit on yourself? You know, it's a bit awkward because you're playing both roles. You're in front of the camera, you're behind the camera, and sometimes you're, you know, you want to say something, you're like, no, oh, no, wait, I'm in the scene. <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit you, hard. It's a bit schizophrenic. Yeah. It's a great story, Abdul. You bought plots of land for your family in Kandahar, Saskatchewan. How did you find out about Kandahar and why was it important for you to own the land? Uh, well, uh, Kandahar, I was working in Vancouver at the hotel and one day in the morning an American gentleman, he came across, he asked me where I come from and I said from Afghanistan and he asked me which city. I said from Kandahar and he said, hey, you know what, I've been to Kandahar but you are the first Afghan to meet you. I said, it's not happening because everybody in Kandahar is in Afghan. He said, no, no, there is another Kandahar in Saskatchewan. Uh, I was 16. You check that one. And then after when I came home, I looked to the, uh, uh, to the map and I just Googled the name and just it came across and it's in Saskatchewan. Incredible. Why was it important for you to not only know it was there but to own land there? Oh, actually, I wanted to have a connection to the country too. This way, this is the best way to do it. And I have to have my two feet in this country mm. and they have to root in this country and just see to my kids we are here. This is our home and this is the second Kandahar for us and we love it. Aisha, I relate to a lot of themes that come up in this documentary. My dad was born in another country but you know fiercely claims Canada is own but there's always a piece of his heart that we always said is back uh, in Sri Lanka. You've described your dad as mysterious in many ways. I, I can relate to that. What do you mean by that? Well, it's sometimes really hard to know where his mind is, so he can be a bit absent in the present, and mm -hmm. you realize, oh, in his thoughts, he's somewhere else, or so. So for us, it was sometimes really hard to understand my dad's habits, my dad's thoughts, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of immigrant children probably feel that way about their parents. Abdul, do you feel mysterious? No, I don't at all. <laughs> I'm an open book for them, but again, it's a dear way to, 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 to explore and to find me out. Ah, that is your job. Find him out. Actually, there's a point in the movie when one of your brothers comments mm -hmm. on your father. He says, uh, it feels like he must feel like he's never truly at home. It's mm -hmm. a really poignant point in your film. Why was that an important message for you to share with everyone? Because, you know, when you think about when immigrants come here, they do, they do such a hard job of trying to adjust to this country. Mm -hmm. But they come with a whole history and with a whole background. And it was really interesting to sort of learn about or understand my dad better in the process of making of this film and really think about the fact that, you know, this is Canada, this is where he's at home, but he's carrying another home with him. Have you ever gone back with him to Kandahar? Not with my dad. I went with my mom. Okay. Take your dad back. It'll be like version two. We'll see that at Hot Docs as well. Good to meet both of you. Thanks for sharing your story. Thank you. A Kandahar Way is premiering tonight at Hot Docs Canadian International Documentary Film Festival. We've got information for you on that on our website.